um, which affects blood pressure. It affects, uh, so melatonin has a similar effect on the renin angiotensin system. Hi everybody and welcome back to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I am Fiona Chin, qualified naturopath and co-founder of Kygenesis and the Kidney Disease Solution. And I'm joined today by the beautiful Emily Cahill. And so why don't we just start with an overview of what is melatonin? What is this? Is it a hormone? Is it a chemical? Where does it come from? Who, what, what part of the body just produces it? Is it only in a pill? Do we make it ourselves? Why don't we start there? So melatonin is a hormone and it's produced by our pineal gland, which is in our brain. It's down there somewhere. Um, and it's it, a pineal gland. Of, yeah, of course, pineal <laughs> gland. Um, I know. Um, and so, yeah, it's made in the, I'm going to say pineal because I don't like pineal. Um, the pineal gland from uh, serotonin. So serotonin is one of our neurotransmitters. Um, so it gets converted from serotonin into melatonin. And we release it uh, in response to light, um, light and darkness. So traditionally it's known and, you know, often only known for its role in sleep. So melatonin is our sleep hormone, if you want to call it that. And what that means is that during the day, while we're awake, our melatonin levels drop. Um, and then as we're getting closer to the evening, what should happen um, is, and when we're starting to be exposed to more darkness, our melatonin levels rise. Um, and that's when we release most of our melatonin, which helps us feel sleepy, um, and fall asleep and then helps us stay asleep during the night, um, as well. So, uh, I would say it generally when it's prescribed and probably every time I've seen it, um, prescribed, it's prescribed to help people with sleep and that's often the only thing it's used for medically. And one of the other things that melatonin does is that it actually um, lowers the activity of the, it's called the renin angiotensin system. Um, which, <laughs> yes. Um, which is um, uh, the production of different hormones, so renin and angiotensin, um, which affect blood pressure it affects uh sodium um our body being able to excrete or retain sodium um and also increases the incidence of inflammation and um kidney scarring as well so often people with kidney disease are given um ACE inhibitors so angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors or angioretensin receptor blockers to help protect the kidneys and they're given because of their effect on the renin angiotensin system. Um, melatonin has a similar effect on the renin angiotensin system. So it reduces the activity in doing that. It reduces um, the production of angiotensin. Angiotensin causes blood vessel constriction, um, which increases our blood pressure. It causes our body to retain sodium which affects our electrolytes and again, increases blood pressure uh, and also contributes to things like inflammation and uh, protein loss in the urine. So, you know, I think like it's, um, no, it's yeah, pretty amazing that it's able to have those kind of actions. ACE inhibitors, um, while they do have uh, beneficial actions, they also have negative side effects and consequences and can sometimes be damaging to the kidney depending on the person in the situation. So here we've got something that's, you know, actually naturally made in our body um, that has a similar type effect, which is pretty cool. So if you've liked this video, remember to give us a like, hit subscribe, and then you'll get notified anytime a um, new video comes along. If there's anything you want Emily and I to talk about, or if you want me to get any other guests on, let us know in the comment section. I read both all the time. Emily, thank you again for your information and sharing with our tribe. Um, yeah, hit like, 
hit subscribe. We'll talk to you next time. And thanks for being part of our community. We really value and appreciate you guys. And we really hope this information helps. Bye. Bye. <laughs>